crafty friends this is Gloria Parra today with a new process video and with the new something that I want to tell you about this year I will be part of my creative scrapbook design team and I'm super super excited for that friends if you haven't checked this new scrapbooking kit I really hope you do it's called my creative scrapbook and it's a wonderful kit it has actually it has four kits the main kit which I will be designing designing each month it has the creative kit the album kit and a beautiful stunning limited edition kit which is a little more floral and more vintagey but you know they get the latest and greatest supplies from companies that we love so it's a great way for you to get lots of product for a great value they give you sketch designs each month if you're part of if you're subscribing they give you sketches they give you cut files and lots of ideas from the creative team go check it out it's a wonderful wonderful kit to be part of okay so you just look at this gorgeousness that i have here this is the april kit which i'll be creating with and look at that beautiful collection it's called the sunny blooms it's by Pebbles. I already have my layouts that I want to create. I just clip it up, sketch them out, and start creating. So that's why you see little clips there. And today, I want to start something fun, stitching a little. Okay, so the kit has tons of paper. The Sunny Blooms collection, it has the cardstock sticker here which has borders and beautiful spring motifs. It brings the foam fray sticker, which I'm in love. I already sketched out all the possibilities of for titles, subtitles. I love this sunny days, beautiful memories, happy heart, gorgeous soft colors. Love them. And they paired it with this beautiful life by this beautiful by Echo Park. It's some chipboard and oh my goodness, I love this little flower shops and it will pair beautifully with with the house paper there. We also got an ephemera pack that I have divided in my metal containers and it's packed with awesome little creatures, sayings and motifs there. So as you can see, you get lots of product for only $29 and tons of inspiration friend so go check it out and let's start creating with this awesome awesome kit okay for my first layout the paper that catched my eye right away was this one I love the the stripes here like the wonky lines and I got the idea of creating like two little triangles that I will place in these two corners here, but I want to stitch them. So that's the first thing that I will do. If you're not a stitcher or you don't like spending the time on that, you can go ahead and skip this step and just start, just cut them. They're already beautiful. So you can just cut the little triangles and start from them from there okay so I have my my threads here and I'll be back with this already stitched and then so here's my little sketch if you want to see it this is the idea like very basic I'm gonna have my two little corners three photos and so I'm gonna use this and maybe another, another pattern paper okay and I'm gonna use this doesn't come in the kit but I'm sure you have plenty of cardstock in your stash. So let's start friends. So friends, for the ones that are interested in seeing this stitching step, this is how I do it. I have my very old We Are piercing mat here. I have my poking tool and of course my, my needle for my threads. And I usually use this Omnigirt ruler just to space out equally my my stitches but since these lines are a little wonky i just think i'm gonna eyeball 
my poking. Oh. Oh, I'm gonna count 12 lines. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So this periwinkle colored line here will be my first one. I'm gonna try one. Trying to play with with a ruler to see if I get it a little wonky. And you just start poking there, friends. So, you know, I'm trying to be a little wonky, but just to use a ruler for spacing, you know? So it goes a little up, down, following my line, but I have the same spacing. I hope you get to see friends and I hope my head is not in the way. And here it is, friends, with the magic of filming. My stitching, my hand stitching has been done to 12 lines on each corner. I hope you get to see it. I color card coordinated and now I want to cut just following those wiggly lines. Nothing perfect. It has it does not have to be straight or or perfect. Just follow those wiggly lines if you're recreating this this layout. And that's it. We have one little corner full of washi tape on the back. And we're gonna cut that border strip, but we have a corner there. And now we're gonna follow this line. Just that wiggly line. It's a little hard because I have the washi tape on the on the bottom. But there it is. I'm gonna adhere that. And this will come here. So friends, let's adhere this to fun pieces we've created. I will be using the double-sided regular adhesive, not the, I usually use the foam adhesive, right? But this time I just want to use flat adhesive. Even though this has a little texture because of the, of the thread and washi tapes, but I don't want to create more more texture. Let's try this. I need it to stick really well. So let's try doing it this way. Just to make sure we have this well adhered. You can also, of course, use liquid glue. You know, I always forget about liquid glue. I'm so used to this kind of dry adhesive that I rarely, rarely use my liquid glues. So let me tell you how excited I am to to be working with my creative scrapbook. You know, this, this kit club brings every month the latest and greatest. So it brings you different, oh my God different brands, different looks. And I love that if you want to try mixed media that month or you see a kit that's amazing, you can try it for that month. You can add on. So that's, that's great friends. Check it out. And I'm really excited. I already work with brands that I love, you know, but sometimes I don't get to use the latest and greatest of other brands. So this has me really excited that I can, that I will get the chance to, to create with other brands that I love as well. So let's adhere this here. And oops, I got a little adhesive in the front. I can turn it around. There we go. Just lining it up. There we are. Okay. So there we are, friends. Let me tell you a little about this photos. So this is my husband and we, my daughters have three cousins that live in Florida, which they adore. So after we went for a trip to New York this past 
spring break. And after that, we went for a couple days to Florida, to Miami, to visit the cousins, and they had a wonderful time. Well, the cousins know that whenever Tio Edu, which means Uncle Edu, is in town, they will have tons, tons, tons of fun. And this trip wasn't the exception. He took them to a bunch of places, to the arcade. Another This day, he took them to... What was it called? Oh, Dylan's Candy. He got them some stuffed toys there, some plush toys. He got them tons of candy. So they just love him. They adore him. The other cousins were not in the moment of the picture that they were there. So, of course, whenever Aunt Uncle Ed was there, it is a sunny day, right? And of course, it's Florida. It was a sunny day, a beautiful, beautiful sunny day. We first went to New York, and those were some cold days, friend. Very cold days. So we were so happy to be back to the sun, to the heat, and the, the moisture. <laughs> I'm not sure what it's called. But we were so happy to be back to the, to the hot climate in Florida. And that's what I want to tell in the stories, in this layout, I mean. So let's start. Together, I want the little house here. Because we always stay in, this, in the building that's right beside the cousins, okay? Because they just want to go there to play with the cousins, so we get as, as near as possible. We always go there so they can get together as soon as they wake up. And I have the little boots here because that day rained a little. But of course, the sun came again out. So we have the perfect clouds up there to use up there. I love, these are vellum friends and I love them. This is a little rainbow vellum as well that I'm gonna use over here. We have a beautiful sun. Look at that little face, this guy, and a little birdie that's gonna come up here. So we're gonna create three little clusters. So we have one, two, and one up here. And the little birdie that will be standing, will be standing there. Our sun, our clouds. I love creating this little scenes in my layouts. Let me know if you like creating scenes. I think they're so fun. I'm sorry if you hear my girls upstairs are playing. It's Sunday here and they're just Clean their hearts out. I was thinking of using, I always stick my stickers here just to see if I'm gonna use them. So I was thinking of adding this little chicks here that would represent the cousins and Uncle Uncle Edu there, maybe like like representing them. I also thought of using this sunny days together. That would work great. And now I need to find a little space for my journaling because I, in my sketch, I had added that space down there, down my title. So I think I will be adding some journaling strips there. Okay. Now let's start adhering everything now and committing because that's the hard part for me every time I'm creating. Now friends, let's start adhering everything we have here. I've made some little marks of where I want my photos to go. And always remember to look at where your faces and eyes are looking. Okay, you can see this one like pointing towards, it, like inward my, my layout. And my daughter here is looking inside. So I think that brings the eye to the center. And that's what we want. Okay. So... I will adhere everything flat on this layout. Let's take out. I love this foam titles. They are so beautiful. And 
let's barely barely adhere this here thankfully this one is not that that tacky so it lets you move move it around because we need to tuck some elements under it under the title so don't press it down if you're recreating this layout just barely barely stick it just to see the the placement I was playing around with the placement and I've decided to pop up my middle photo and my little house here I know I said I wanted everything flat but if you know me and you have seen my videos I really love love dimension so I just couldn't <laughs> I had to pop it up so that's gonna be popped up and oh and that white space there was really bothering me so I just cut a little strip of this yellow paper here and placed it under there and I think that looks better it was looking a little awkward so let's start pasting friends no, I can stay hours moving things around and trying to make up my mind, but this is it. Let's move on and finish this layout. Okay, I have my little marks up there, so I will keep everything straight. I want to add this blue tree or this periwinkle tree here and out here in my house over there this one will be flat will have to be flat and this ones will be raised up a little Okay, now I will add my little chicks. Look how cute that little guy is. I will use smaller, the, the smaller foam adhesives, the scrapbook.com square, square adhesives. They are not as tall, so I think they're perfect for this. And I will pop this guy here. Okay, and I have another one here. I think I will just add two to represent my, at least my two girls. I was thinking of adding three, but I think it looks too crowded. I'm not sure. We'll check it out. So I have my little foam squares there. You can add one here. You know, okay, so let's raise this little guy up. I've already added the the thinner foam adhesive and since we are working with vellum here it's a little tricky to adhere it but not impossible so let's stick him here first and we will I want to pop that up so I will add my foam adhesive under my sun and under the birdie where where it won't be seen. Okay, so we have the birdie there in the front, so we can add the foam there in the back. Oops, it's too big. You need to try to cover it up. Let's see how we have this. So there we have our little sun. Now we can add, if we need more adhesive, down here. And that's it. And you can play with your sun there. Ruffle him up a little. And I think that's it, friends. I think, I think I love that. I think I wouldn't add anything else. Oh, our journaling. And I was thinking of adding this little banner, this little guy, down here and have it like floating there with texture. And that would read sunny days together. I like that. 
but I feel it's a little crowded. And I love the little visual triangle the yellow makes here with the little chicks and the sun. So maybe I will just leave that for another layout. I also would love to add some chipboard elements from this Echo Park chipboard sticker sheet that's included in the kit. And I love that it brings another texture, another finish to our layout. And maybe we can have this little guys on the top. Always remember that proximity like makes everything look better. Okay, because if we put them down here, like very distant from our clusters, they look a little awkward. Okay, so maybe he can be on the tree and this one can be like flying to our little cluster or on top of the cloud. Okay, so now friends, I think that's it. I will be adding a little tag, a little journaling tag down there, or maybe some journaling strips here. Okay, and I will add a, a still shot, some photos, some close-ups at the end, so you can finish, see my finished layout. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'm so excited to be here this, this term with my creative scrapbook. I hope you enjoyed this video, and thank you so much for stopping by. Until the next video, see you. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.